Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got a pretty cool project for you. So um, I've I got this gear here and it's actually from my RC truck that I bought a while back, but the gear is finally stripped out because they're plastic. So what I did is I 3D printed myself a new one. And this is what the actual gear looks like installed in this mechanism. So I kind of tore it apart a little bit and put the, and the spring goes in it, but I've 3D printed this gear. So, um, I'm pretty excited how well it turned out and I'm gonna kind of talk about um, what I did a little bit so and um, we're gonna put uh, go through the process of putting it back in the truck so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy so first off I um, I, mean, I, create, I designed a gear in Fusion 360 it took me a while but I got it if you need any further instructions with the um, design itself just leave a comment down below I just made the gear and then I used the rotate tool in side of Fusion 360. So it worked pretty good. Um, so I printed it out and I'm really excited how well it turned out. Like it seemed to print really good too. I, I printed it on my CR10S at home. So um, so let's go install it on the truck. Okay guys, so I got this gear here and I got my car and my truck that it's going in. So this is my 3D printed gear. I'm gonna stick it in here. So it goes something like that and then this piece slides over top of it so there we go it's in i guess it's um connected right so i have a bunch of screws that i'm gonna go um and screw in and then we can install it back onto the truck Okay guys, so I got it screwed together good enough for testing, so I'm going to take it and screw it on here. So how it goes on the truck. These shocks go in right here. And wires get tucked in back there. And then there's these two little panel things here that hold the whole thing. Oh, I forgot about this bar. Now, I do think I need to oil this still. And, um, but I'm not kind of, I'm, really, I'm not really that great with RC cars. I don't really do a whole lot with RC cars. As you can tell on my channel, I do a lot more with planes. So I don't really know a whole lot about RC cars and I don't really know what kind of grease to put in there. So I'm kind of I'm waiting, which I know I need to get some grease because it's not very lubricated right now. Because I've torn that apart so many times and I put a new gear in it, as you see now. So if you guys got any um, idea of what kind of grease to put in there or where to get that grease, could you leave a comment down below that would help me out? If you're wondering, this is a um, actually a toy grade RC car that I converted over to hobby grade, and I just took some uh, uh, brushed um, electronics in it. I left the original motor and I put a new ESC in it because the original truck um, had issues with the um, with the receiver and the transmitter controller connecting. So sorry about that. You can't see that, but. So I had some issues with it connecting, so I had to switch it out to my um, hobby grade stuff, and it works amazing. So I have driven this thing like crazy. I've let my cousins drive it, and they have driven it like crazy, and it's so fun. I put a little FPV camera on it once and went um, adventuring, and it was great. So I'm excited to get it back up and running. I've had it down probably for a couple months now, so I'm really anxious to get it to working again. So I'm just plugging them in 
here. This is an ESC. I accidentally bought a um, dual motor ESC, but I'm just using one of the leads out of it. So I've got a servo up inside here. Here's my lead for that. And this is my ESC lead. And you see here, I've got some metal um, bracing right there because I kind of broke it a couple times. And there's some on the bottom because it is toy grade. It's not the best. So I'm actually kind of looking for a new chassis, but I haven't found anything yet. So I'm going to get my receiver and transmitter out here. So I got my um, receiver and transmitter out here. I'm going to stick it in here real quick. So how I've got this worked here, I actually have a um, transmitter for an airplane. So I just kind of hooked it up to the rudder and the to the aileron elevator channel. If you guys aren't familiar what that is, I'll show you here in a second. So I think it's that and the auto rudder now. Okay, so let me so I've got that plugged in. Let me grab a battery here. This is just a three cell. I think a 2200. Uh oh, oh. I thought maybe the battery was dead. I haven't used this battery in a while. I kind of made a little strap here. This is where the original battery is supposed to go inside here, but I kind of tore it apart. So there it goes. So here's my um control. So here's my controller. So I'm just kind of controlling it with the oh, with the elevator and the and the rudder here. So it works out so that I have reverse and everything and forward and then I have left and right. So we're gonna see if this gear works and I'm excited. Okay, so I'm just trying it inside here cause I'm really excited. So um, before I put the body on it, make sure it works and everything. So nice, so it seems working at low speeds. We'll see how it works at high speeds. If it strips out pretty easily, it's just PLA filament. So um, we're gonna see, put it to the test. So I do have a body out here for it and I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna go outside and see how it works. So let's go. Okay guys, so we're out here and I'm gonna go drive and I'm gonna see how well it works. Sorry about the low lighting conditions. It's kind of nighttime, so hopefully um, you can see us pretty good. Hopefully it works, so let's drive. Nice. That gear seems to work great. Wow, so thanks for watching everyone. I hope you like this video and I hope I can do more of these videos. Um, more on this truck, I'll, maybe I'll do some FPV in. If you guys want, so leave a comment down below and um, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, bye.